Today's Bible study is titled, Consider What I Say, Study. In what is most likely his last epistle to Timothy, the Apostle Paul gives special instruction to his son in the faith, Timothy and us, on how he should be charging them whom he instructs. This charge still stands to all believers today, but most do not take up the charge. Consider what I say, and the Lord give the understanding in all things. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel, wherein I suffer trouble, as an evil doer, even unto bonds. But the word of God is not bound. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sakes, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. It is a faithful saying. For if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful, he cannot deny himself. Of these things put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2 verse 7 to 15. The charge to Timothy concerns the study and the rightly dividing of the word of truth as was revealed by Christ to the Apostle Paul for the body of Christ in this dispensation of the grace of God. Let's look more closely at this. Consider what Paul, by revelation, said and believed that the Lord give the understanding in all things. Remember the message that was given Paul by the glorified Lord Jesus Christ and that he was raised from the dead according to my gospel a statement that no other apostle makes. Acknowledge that the word of God is not bound, even though Paul was bound and suffered trouble at the time of this second epistle to Timothy, and Paul suffered because of the message of grace that he preached. Study the word of God in a consistent manner so that you shew thyself approved unto God, not as just a reader but as a student who is determined to be a workman that needeth not to be ashamed note, being a workman requires the student of the word to work at the study. Recognize that Paul preached Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began Romans 16 verse 25, while Peter and the rest of the twelve preached Jesus Christ according to prophecy which had been spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began Acts 3 verse 21. And thus a true workman must learn to study the scripture by rightly dividing the word of truth between prophecy and mystery. As a student who learns to be rightly dividing the word of truth and is thereby a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, you should be training your replacement by of these things put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. So the charge involves a workman type study that ultimately results in training others so that they may, in turn, train yet others. Believer, regarding the message the Lord gave Paul, consider what I say. And the Lord give the understanding in all things, and thereby recognize your God-given responsibility to be a student of the Word and thereafter a teacher of the Word, rightly divided. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study. Mm-hmm.